Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a breakfast special. We're not gonna do anything crazy, nothing unheard of. We got the in-laws in town and my father-in-law is on this six pack at 60 tour and uh, he's been uh, cutting his carbs. So today we're just gonna make massive omelets. We're gonna do it all on the Pit Boss griddle. You guys stay tuned. So the deal is basically we got some sausage, we got some ham, we got some bacon, some cheeses we're gonna grate up because I get harassed about my packaged cheese. And we just got some simple vegetables, green onion, some bell pepper, and some uh, mushrooms. Today's breakfast is gonna go a little bit different, way less talking, not a lot of teaching. I'm just gonna have fun today, just cook, and the microwave queen is gonna film. You guys good with that? Let's change it up a little bit, you ready? Let's go. With that leftover bacon grease, go ahead and throw your vegetables down, get them sauteed, tender, and ready to go for your omelets. All right, it doesn't matter if you're using a road seal griddle or the ceramic coated griddle by Pit Boss. If you go ahead and clean all your oils off right now and throw eggs on there immediately, chances are they're gonna stick because the bacon and the sausage has natural sugars and proteins in it, right? So. All that product is still left over in your griddle. You need to clean your griddle with a little bit of steam, a little bit of water, a little bit of something. You can feel your spatula dragging on the surface. See all that right there? That's fond. So if you put your eggs directly on there and you wonder why your eggs are sticking, that's why, because it's actually not on the surface. It's actually sticking to the proteins on the griddle. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up and get ready for omelets. Just scramble up three eggs. Now this is the deal. We're gonna make a bunch of omelets right here really quick. We have an omelet video, like how to make omelets for beginners. It's a very good video. It shows you step-by-step -step instructions, temperatures, how to fold and all that. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna make omelets for the family. Here we go. I don't know about you, but that right there is an absolute massive loaded Sunday omelet. All right, now that my father-in-law is down his three egg omelet plus my mother-in-law's three egg omelet, he's six eggs down and about eight pounds of meat down. He's, he's good for the day. Now we can make ours, okay? Do ours the same way. I've added four eggs instead of three eggs. Make a big old omelet and me and the microwave queen are going to share. Why not, right, babe? <laughs> Women out. Add the rest of it. Sausage and bacon. Yep, got those peppers, the onions, little diced ham. That's gonna be one, what do you say, mammer jammer? That's one mammer jammer. That's a snack right there. All right. Well, that's going down. Just to show you guys a little temperature control here. I've got this one off. I've got this one on and this one on low, right? See how the butter's reacting? It's an absolutely beautiful thing to see. This is a four egg omelet. Is it gonna be enough for you? 
<laughs> Hit with that Pit Boss Burger Rub. They need to rename their Burger Rub. All-purpose rub. All-purpose good. <clears throat> Light on the cheese. That's a joke, honey. <laughs> All right, take those vegetables. Just right in there somehow, some way. And I like the flip method. I think it keeps the ingredients in there. It's easy to do. Just like rolling a tortilla. I tell you guys about the wings, right? So fold the wings. Get underneath it, just like you would a smash burger. And before you know it, you got an eight pound log of goodness. Look at that bad boy. Now that is what you call an omelet, honey. All right guys, there you go. Don't be scared to add your favorite ingredients. These things are absolutely limitless. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's too hot. That's right like now. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are you kidding me? That's an afternoon snack right there. Look at that thing. Just loaded. Hot? <laughs> you know, people complain you chew with your mouth open. It's because he's trying to let the steam out. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We have them often. We just change the ingredients in and out. We Sometimes bigger is better. And uh, this is no different. You get that three egg omelet. It's a little bit easier to add your ingredients and fold it. If you're worried about that extra egg being too much because you're typically used to a two egg, just save it and refrigerate it for the next day. It's not a big deal. It's a lot easier to pack and fold than it is to try to have a small omelet and you just can't get a lot of ingredients in there. So, Also, add. we have to mention, dad ate his and he said, what did he say? That it was... Hashtag, pack, hashtag six pack at 70 now because he liked it so much. No. Instead of 60. He said it was literally the best omelet he's ever had. It's good. I'm it, not gonna, I mean. What's not to like? It's good. All right, guys, there you go. Super easy, packed with flavor, and it's so versatile where you add your favorites, right? If you're interested, we have a join button down below. It's where you guys can get like first look at the videos that come out behind the scenes, and it's just a way to help out the channel, and we really appreciate it. If you haven't checked out the Griddle Group on Facebook, it's where we guys interact with you one-on-one. -on -one. It's where you guys show your Griddle creations, and we absolutely love it. We stand by it. Last but not least, press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. I'm hungry. Peace. Mm. Okay, give me a bite. We're sharing that, remember. This is an omelet for one. Look at all that stuff this in there. This is an omelet for, like, one for three days. <sighs> your big old mouth. Uh -huh.